I failed my first few job applications because I wasn't confident and clear with my communication. I failed at eTeleCare, the company my brother worked at, because it took me forever to answer basic interview questions. I failed at West Contact Services because I got my final interview date wrong. I met Jean at InfoNXX. Whenever I applied, I started talking to other job applicants in the waiting area. I asked other job applicants where they applied before. I asked them if they were nervous. I asked them where they planned to apply in case they failed. I asked them about assessments that they encountered and what they found difficult. I asked them what they thought of my English, or I asked them about an answer that I'm considering giving to an interviewer. I try to get as much information as I can from the people that I encounter. If I would like to meet them again, I ask for their phone number. Jean didn't have a cell phone, but she gave me her home phone number. She had better English than most applicants that I talked to, so I thought to myself I'd have better practice time talking to her. Every word that came out of her mouth sounded correct. She probably came from a good school and I wanted more friends like that, I told myself. During the interview, we both failed because even if we both had comm skills, the other person who got hired had the better people skills and they were just sharing stories and having fun during the interview. So that other applicant got to the contract signing instead of Jean and me who had superior English. I had more fun talking to Jean than I did with my conversation with the interviewer. Not a good sign as far as job application goes. If I'm going to get hired, my interviews should be this fun, I write down in my notebook. I later realized that every time I have fun with my conversations with the interviewer, I went to the next stage. I have a similar background as Jean so I can relate to her stories. She also had to stop college because of a family issue. I wanted to help Jean so I accompanied her to Convergys, the last company I applied in. We discussed what we thought we did well and the mistakes we made. We applied at West Contact Services but made an error with the date of the final interview. That was mostly my fault. The interviewer told us to come back Wednesday. I thought Wednesday was a day from now and not tomorrow, so we both missed that. I later learned that if you missed a step in the job application process, you can just call the recruitment staff, apologize that you couldn't make it or didn't make it, and ask for another schedule. To make up for my mistake and to help my new friend get hired, I took her to Convergys. And after talking to the other job applicants in the smoking area, playing Tekken and reviewing my notes and browsing some books, Jean told me, that she got hired. I began applying somewhere else, so I didn't hear for, from her for a while. A few weeks later, I received a call from Jean. She told me to meet her at Greenbelt. I had no idea why. She guided me to a fancy restaurant, and I only had 400 pesos in my wallet. So my eyes screamed that I can't pay for the food here. She reassured me that it's my treat. She treated me to a steak dinner, she got me a 700 or 800 peso steak and I was so thankful. We continued our conversation. We walked toward the bookstore. I spent a few minutes browsing some books. When it was time for us to leave, she grabbed the book that I was reading from the shelf and I asked her, are you interested in that book too? She said no, smiling. She paid for it, then handed me the book. I got this for you. Today, I got my first paycheck. Thank you for helping me. We hung out some more. When she found out that I was interested in making a website, she helped me build one. In fact, she helped me build several websites, including the first few versions of call center training tips. She probably gave me 20 to 30,000 pesos worth of website service in the next few years. This is one of the first few times that I realized that helping people get hired in a call center is incredibly useful for some people.